Well, we're back in the museum, bringing you another discussion, a discussion David wanted to talk about, actually. I did? Yeah, about the joys of completing an action figure line. Oh, completing a line. Yeah, isn't that what, what you wanted to talk about? <laughs> no, that's fine. Actually, mm -hmm. this comes out of the comment section because there... Uh, it's been brought up a few times. We've had, you know, we've had, done a bunch of these discussions. Mm -hmm. And people have suggested a couple of times in the comment section that the real fun is in the hunt. And to me, that suggests that you enjoy looking for it and finding it more than actually having it. And I don't really ascribe to that. I don't believe in that. It, it's, and I, I get it. It's exciting when you find something that you're looking for, but personally, I think there's a lot of satisfaction in finishing a line. And I don't know, maybe it's I've got a I've got a bit of a um, an issue with it when it comes to newer stuff mm -hmm. because newer stuff, for the most part, in my opinion, you should be able to go in the store and find it, but mostly you can't a lot of the newer stuff is getting cherry-picked by scalpers they turn around and they sell it on ebay they sell it at like crazy markup people don't want to pay that some do because obviously if they didn't pay it then these people wouldn't keep doing it they wouldn't do it if they weren't getting paid they weren't making money on it but it frustrates me actually to to go to stores and never find things that you're looking for. We did a lot of that back when we were doing Funko for a while, and that got old. You get tired of doing it, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're not the only ones, because once upon a time, there used to be piles of people waiting in front of stores for the new pop releases, and it started dwindling off, especially like... Um, convention exclusives where they do the shared exclusives mm -hmm. and back once upon a time where out in front of hot topic there'd be like 40 50 people and then it was 30 and then it was 20 mm -hmm. and then it was 10 because people just got tired of it <clears throat> and i'm one of those people that just got tired of it well we're talking about like completing a line and yeah. like i know for me i complete i completed a couple um i had my little swamp thing and I completed that. Yeah. And that felt good to have, to be able to find all of the figures. Well, because it's an older line, I was able to find it online on eBay. Yeah. And the price wasn't ridiculous. And some of it, actually, I got in a lot. Or, or the um, seller had more than one. So, like, one seller may have had three or four figures another person had a lot and then i had to find onesie twosies here and there mm -hmm. but when i got them all it felt real good because i was like okay now that is over i can close the door on that and when you put put it up on the wall you know i do not have to make room for another <laughs> for another figure the real estate has been bought and paid for yeah um so that's always good is kind of frustrating when even with older figures when when you're trying to complete a line and you can't find one figure or a few of them are so expensive it's like okay I'm not gonna even attempt to get those because they're just way out of my price range you know yeah but I, I you know I personally again for me it's not about the hunting for it, mm -hmm. especially when you're talking about, I don't know, when you're talking about um, some of the lines that I collect, some mm -hmm. of the older stuff, most of what I have is vintage. And there are pieces that even if they're not expensive, they're so elusive, it's ridiculous. So we, we had done the thing about rarity before, and yeah, most of the stuff that I have is rare. But that doesn't necessarily mean expensive. You know, mm -hmm. I said that before. I've got some rare pieces that are worth a lot. I've got some rare pieces. They're not worth that much, but you can't find them. They're hard to, they're hard to complete. 
they're hard to finish off a set. And there is a sense of satisfaction in finding another piece that you're missing and a sense of relief <laughs> to some degree. Yeah. Certain pieces, I mean, you never you never see them and when it pops up it's like, "Oh, wow, I can't believe I got that." Or um like you're trying to complete a set and mm -hmm. you know that they're expensive, but then you find one that at a really good price either it's on um auction and you get you get it for way under what it usually goes for mm -hmm. or if you go to a show or a comic book shop yeah, or, or a toy deal. store or something yeah and you just get a deal it feels good to get that piece um, that you've been looking for waiting for to help complete the line yeah and I actually I get a bigger sense of satisfaction out of finishing it mm -hmm. and to me to to allude to that it's more fun looking for it than it is to actually have it I think that's kind of anticlimactic I, I I appreciate it if I've got a line and I'm finished mm -hmm. I love that I love like looking across looking straight across the room right behind you and I can see the Mattel Space 1999 nine inch figures mm -hmm. I have the whole set okay I've got it's only three figures and a play set and it took years to finish. <laughs> <laughs> it took years to find everything um, sealed up, especially finding that playset sealed was very hard. Mm. But I'm happy I got it. I'm, I'm not going to sit there and say, well, I got them all, now what? Mm. And, and just be, and feel all pitiful about it. I'm happy I got the set. I'm not going to sell it. You know, I'm not going to trade it away. Uh, I get a sense of satisfaction knowing that I was uh, actually able to finish that. And I know for some people, and I'm not trying to take it away from anybody if they really enjoy the hunt. I don't enjoy it so much. Hmm. Um, but again, you know, a lot of the things that I'm looking for are so obscure anyways that I don't expect it to turn up. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, I'm kind of happy when I see it. But there are certain things that the price gets so ridiculous it, it, it's it's almost painful when you miss out on it i think um like for me i do like hunting for it mm -hmm. i think i would like hunting more if you could go into a comic or a toy store or to a show and find the pieces that you're looking for especially mm -hmm. if you're a vintage collector now if you're a new, a, a new collector I mean, collecting newer stuff, it's kind of easy to find those things um, in stores, on eBay, in comic book show, stores, comic book shops. Well, the new stuff's always there. Yeah, um, you can you can you can find it. You know, the price might be a little yeah, much. Yeah, it's an issue of reasonable price, though. Yeah, you can find it, but if you if you get an older stuff, um, it's harder to find. But it would feel good if. You could go to a shop, like you're, you're, you're in a town you don't hardly go to, and you go in there, and you find that couple pieces, you're like, wow, I've never seen this in a store. Mm -hmm. And um, you find, and it's one that you actually need. Because sometimes you see stuff that align that you're collecting, but then they have all the ones that you already have. That's so true. it's like, uh, yeah, they got this stuff, but I have all these already. And often in shops, mm -hmm. um... They, they they got some good markup yeah. in a lot of shops too. A lot of shops are not that reasonable. And I, that, people are always like, oh, you know, stay off of eBay, support your local comic shop or your local vintage toy shop. A lot of those guys are not very reasonable. There's what? very few that are. Aaron was good. Mm -hmm. Aaron, who has, if you're ever in Illinois, Wax Pack, uh, he's got almost everything vintage and he's pretty easy to work with. He wants to move his product. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these guys they'll hold out. Yeah, and then with the comic or the toy store, comic shop, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. 
you know, they say support it, but then they don't have what you're looking for. So it's kind of hard to support it. And you a lot almost, of new stuff, too. Yeah, you almost have to go to the aftermarket, meaning eBay or Macari or whatever yeah. other website you go to. And Craigslist is not even all that great because um, you don't find things on there all the time either. No, Craigslist has gotten really bad over the years, actually. Yeah. More scams than anything. Yeah, but I think, for me, I like completing the line. I like looking for stuff. I like completing it. Um, again, once you get it, you kind of know you have it. You know where it goes. You can you can picture it. You can set things up. And you know you don't have to move something to add another piece in there. And yeah. especially if it's a vintage line, you know they're not going to add anything. That's that's because it's already complete. Too. Yeah. yeah, it's it's already complete. I mean, they could go back to it. They can reissue something, or they can uh, start making it again. Mm -hmm. Like you know, uh, Zika was making uh, sectars. They started making sectars again, mm -hmm. but it's not the original Coleco sectars. Mm -hmm. If you're into the Coleco sectars and you just want to collect those, someday you could finish that mm -hmm. and then be done with it and have that set and it's yours and i think there's a very deep sense of satisfaction with completing it mm -hmm. and i like having that i like looking at the remco mcdonald set and knowing i'm done mm -hmm. <laughs> you know i like looking at um the knickerbocker sesame street set and knowing i'm done mm -hmm. i got all there's only four but they are not easy yeah. They're not easy by any means to, to come by. Um, my Plastamarks, the, the Plastamarks, um, the art box versions, because there's two versions of, of the figures. I, I prefer the art box versions. There's nine. I have eight of them. Mm. Sooner mm -hmm. or later, sooner or later, that last one will show up, <laughs> and then I'll be done. And yeah, again, you know, the hunt um i don't enjoy looking for it i'll be happy when i find it i'll be very happy if i can get it but the for me the real satisfaction is in being finished with it mm. i've got it all done now i can work on finishing something else yeah that i'm hanging by a thread in completing or maybe i'm halfway through it or something like that and i've got a few like that and it can get tough when it gets really expensive. Mm -hmm. That that's part of the problem. I, like I said, the Plastamark sets, they're not too expensive. They're not too bad. But um, other ones like the product people, I'm missing one. Been looking to complete that, find that one last piece for a couple of years, because those pieces are not easy to come by. The last one that uh, came up for auction anywhere it was on eBay, got so expensive, I had to give up. And that sucks. <laughs> but yeah. that's the way it goes sometimes. Mm. Or my Pillsbury. You know, I'd like to be able to finish the Pillsbury playthings. They don't come up very often. Some of the pieces are... Well, there's a few pieces. Uh, the two standard figures, uh, Poppy and Poppin, come up a lot. Most of the rest of them in the series, they don't come up too often, but they're not too bad. But there's a couple of pieces in there that are very difficult like the raleigh is damn near a thousand if he's in the box hmm. so and you rarely ever find him and i there, there was one that came up not too long ago but it, it went out at oh, close to a thousand dollars i couldn't bid on it oh wow you know mm -hmm. it's you know so for me, for me, the hunt's not that fantastic. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I know that a lot of people they're into that, and I get it. Yeah. You know, I, I get it, but it's not that's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea is in being done with it and the satisfaction of looking at it, and you know that's my trophy. I'm done with this line. <laughs> I've got a, I've got all the pieces finally. Sigh of relief, and then every time I come down and I look at it, and you know. A little smile because a lot of the stuff that I have ties in with the nostalgia of growing up mm -hmm. and that's that's important to me also you know especially like the, I mentioned earlier the space 1999 one of my all-time favorite sci-fi shows used to watch it when I was a kid I love that I have the figures 
didn't have them when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. When I was a little kid, I didn't even know there were figures, <laughs> you know. And you have a couple that you completed recently, too. Yeah, like I said, I um, completed the Swamp Thing. Yeah, you got all the Kenner Swamp Thing, and it's a nice set, too. Yeah, the um, Diamond Select Universal Monsters. Mm -hmm. It was only eight. Yeah. And I got that. Um, who is it? A sideshow made a one six scale Twilight Zone. Yep. And I have all those. I do not. I need one more to complete uh -oh. the Outer Limits. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Biff Bang Pow made Twilight Zone, but then I'm missing one. Okay. So those um. Well, Raggedy Ann and Andy, because it was only two pieces. Yeah, there's only two figures. In a playset. You never see them, though. No. You never see those action figures. Yeah. And the, I think that's it. For recent. Yeah, from recent. That's all I can think of right now. I'm telling you, but. And for me, I think that the vintage pieces... Uh, there's an even bigger sense of satisfaction in finding them as opposed to modern lines mm -hmm. collecting because those, if you can't find them, that's real rarity versus artificial demand rarity that you get with a lot of modern figures because people hoard them mm -hmm. or they cherry pick them so that they can sell them high on the aftermarket. Yeah. You know, you see more of the so called rare. <laughs> You see more of the so-called rare um, missing figures that you can't find from modern lines stacked up on dealer tables at the conventions <laughs> than anywhere else. Yeah. And, I, to, and I, it's a little insulting to me. That frustrates me. But yeah, I don't know. I, 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 th I like having a completed line. To me, mm -hmm. that, that's more important. And like a, especially if it has a, a childhood connection. Yeah. If it's something that you are attached to or remember from childhood, or even if it reflects of the nostalgia of the time period that you grew up in, like my um, my Electro Man, my ideal Electro Man and Zog, it's only two pieces. Was not easy finding them in the box. <laughs> it was very difficult finding those boxed. Hmm. Uh, and I didn't have those when I was a kid, but it's seventies era. It just reeks of the 70s and i think that's fantastic reeks of the 70s yes it does you look mm -hmm. at those and you're like yeah 1970s <laughs> and, and i love that about it though mm -hmm. anything else i don't know i guess that's about it unless you have something to add um no i think i said all i have to there's say there's a line you're working on yeah i am working on the dukes of hazard um got this one courtesy of johnny future yeah mm -hmm. helped uh, us out with that it's three more pieces. Is it three or is it more? I don't know because I've only ever seen Bold Luke and Daisy. Yeah. Um, in the I, eight inch. In the eight inch. Yeah, because they, they got the what, three and three quarter? Yeah. The, they the have those and one. they have a bunch more figures, but I want the eight inch one. So. Of course. Yeah. But like I said, I enjoy looking for them. I enjoy hunting them. I like going out in person. I do look on eBay. I don't look that much. Yeah. But I do look at, you know, occasionally. But I like finding them in the store. Although I don't go out to stores often. Because I know, you know, to go to your local toy store and uh, places like that, I'm not going to find what I'm looking for. Yeah, but I rarely, do like going. Rarely. And it's uh, mostly new stuff. Yeah, I do like going, but, you know, but I do like completing also. I like knowing that, okay, this is done. I can cross it off of the list. Nothing is going to be made that's in this era. You know what I mean? If they redo it like they're redoing everything else, that's something totally different. Yeah. But, um, for example, Swamp Thing was made in 1990. They're not going to make another one in 1990. It's gone already. Yeah, so, any other figures that are made, it, it's going to be a tribute. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about that. So, but anything else? No, I guess that's it. And all I can do is ask, you know, anybody who's watching, what do you like better, the hunt or the kill? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you like running around looking for them, or 
are you more satisfied when you've got it all, when you've got whatever set you're trying to put together and you can just look at it and say, oh, there we go. Which is which is better for you? Hmm. You can tell us about it in the comment section down below. Get the conversation going. Mm -hmm. um, please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all of that. And what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.